Hey you guys, Callie from Love Cooks. Guess what time it is? That's right, chocolate milk time, chocolate milk time. Today we're making some ashwagandha dark chocolate milk with a little bit of frostiness. It's gonna be delicious. We're gonna start off with a cup and a half of milk. You could use whole milk. You could use toasted coconut milk from Khalifa Farms, which is what I personally love. You could use almond milk, whatever milk you like. Okay, then we're gonna add two tablespoons of raw cacao powder, love it so much. Then two teaspoons of nut butter, natural nut butter, makes it easier to blend. And then also a half teaspoon of ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is amazing for so many reasons, but particularly for this recipe, I um, have suffered with some thyroid issues and it has made me feel so much better. And I love chocolate milk, so why not blend them all together? And then finally, we're gonna add in a couple drops of stevia. Whatever stevia you like here, I had a butter toffee flavor which I love just whatever you choose you could use honey whatever sweetener you prefer all right we are gonna blend that all together on low in our blender get that nice and frothy we'll probably bend, blend it on medium low for about a minute really until everything is evenly combined and then here comes the fun part so you've got somebody in the kitchen with you maybe you have your kid with you your parents whoever's in there get them to get a cup of ice out of the freezer put that in your mixture Put the top on, blend away. You wanna start off on low, probably for about a minute or two, and then move it all the way up to high. Get that party going, pop that ice up, and we're gonna get it really nice and combined and frothy. It almost resembles the texture of like a slushy. Beautiful, right? Perfect. Okay, you guys, there you have it. This is our ashwagandha chocolate milk. It could not be simpler. It's super minimal. It's really easy to make. I think you and your family are gonna love it so much. So you're just gonna pour it into two frosted glasses. I put these guys in the freezer. And voila, top of the little cinnamon, and you are ready to go, ready to enjoy your chocolate milk. And a little extra tip, you can also put it in the freezer to freeze for later, and then you can come back and enjoy it almost like it's a bit of a slushy, chunky dessert. It's so good. Okay, you guys, from my kitchen to yours, much love.